Hey guys, and welcome to another 410 tutorial. It's Tom Howard here, and today we're going to be going over some pretty cool stuff. We're going to be creating a digital copy of a disc, using that digital copy, and ways to save your digital CDs to access them anywhere. Now, you may be wondering, why do I need to do this? And the answer is really simple. It allows you to not have to have the DVD in your DVD drive to use it. It also allows you to use these DVDs on all your machines at once or sporadically. Let's say you go to your office, you don't have to take your DVD with you, you'll always have it digitally. Alright, so let's get started. First things first is creating a digital copy of a disc. Now to do this, you need to have a DVD or CD in your DVD drive. I have right now Quadros. It's a DVD that I got along with my Spanish textbook. So we're going to run the example with that. First thing is to right click it, go down to your Power ISO little menu, and make an image file. Now this will pop up, and you can pick what type of file, ISO, bin, or DAA, and where it's going to be saved. Now I already have an ISO made right here so I'm gonna hit cancel but you users at home would want to select ISO because it is typically the most accepted file specify where you want it to save and then hit OK and wait now if you're following along at home feel free to pause the video here and wait for power ISO or whatever tool you use to make the ISO file when it's done come back unpause the video and continue right along so I'm gonna hit cancel and I'm done look at that we have our ISO file we now have our digital copy of our DVD now I do want to take a minute here to just talk about some of the other programs you can use to create these ISO files you can use ISOdisk which is a free tool that allows you to create virtual drives and ISO files and mount them. You can also use Virtual Clone Drive, um, Damien Tools Lite, and of course there's even more out there on the internet that we're not going to go over too much, like Alcohol 52% and all that good stuff. I will link all four of these uh, websites out in the description along with Power ISO, which is what I'm using today. So with that, we're going to go to using that digital copy. Now, it's all well and, well and dandy that we have this file, but how can we use it? To use it, what we're going to do is we're going to take our file, select it, right click on it, go to our Power ISO window, and we want to mount it to a drive. But here's the issue when you first install Power ISO. It's going to say no drive right here. Right beneath it, it's also going to say set number of drives, which is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. To use Power ISO, you need to come in here and specify that you need at least one drive. Once you do that, you right click, you go back to your Power ISO window, and you'll see now you have, instead of no drive, mount image to drive I, and that there's currently no media in that drive. When you click on this, it will look like nothing happened at all but if you go back into my computer you'll see under drive I is your CD an exact co uh, copy of that CD ready to be used whenever you want and without even needing this CD in my DVD drive anymore in fact I'm going to eject this so I'm gonna come and I'm gonna click eject now that CD is not even in my computer anymore but I can open up my digital drive I and go exploring through all the files. It's that simple. Now, if your users at home have autoplay on your computer, if you're using Windows 7, um, when you mount it, it'll automatically pop up like you would normally see when you put a DVD drive in. I have autoplay disabled on my computer. Um, long story, but that's why it didn't pop up for me it will pop up for you guys at home as long as you have autoplay enabled 
Now, last but certainly not least, ways to save your digital CDs to access them anywhere. Now this is probably the most important part to creating a digital image because what would be the point if you could only access it from one place now that you have a digital copy? It would be just like having a DVD. No better. So there's a number of ways to accomplish this, but my personal favorite is a thumb drive. If I don't have a thumb drive or I want to be able to share this with other computers without taking a thumb drive around with me, I use the site called Mega. Now Mega is a site that allows me to upload files privately and securely and only be able to access them with a password or a decryption key. That way no one else can go on my files but me and I can access them anywhere without having to worry about always having my thumb drive with me. Now if you're a person who likes a thumb drive, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and use it. Or your external hard drive, um, that's fine too. I don't upload all my ISOs to Mega. In fact, I have on my external all my ISO files from my drivers from my computer. That way if I ever my computer ever crashes, I don't need to worry about finding the DVDs because I have digital copies all the time. Well, that's it. That just about does it. It's very simple, you guys. If you have any questions or if you're using different tools than me, feel free to comment. I will try to help you out as best I can. Um, this is Tom Howard signing out. Thank you.